You guys are acting like animals. <laughs> God bless our American hero, which is Jake Paul. Hello everyone, I'm Alex and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I wanted to kind of look at something that's been bugging me and it's been consistent over the last week. Now if you guys may have seen, well you at least should have seen, because it's pretty much been everywhere on TV, on the news, to, to trending on Twitter. There was a hurricane which hit Texas absolutely destroying the area flooding literally the entirety of the area is underwater now obviously this is awful and those people need support and they need people to know that there is this massive issue going on for them they need a hero right now so is it a plane you know is it a bird is it superman oh no it's ex-Disney star, Jake Paul. Now, celebrities always get involved in helping people out doing charity work, you know. Uh, it's something that is done quite regularly. And it's nice to see people step in to help people less fortunate than themselves. And it's okay to document it as well. I mean, I don't have an issue with vlogging this event. Vlogging it and showing people what you could do to help. Showing people what you're doing to help. But when you post the video to YouTube and then put brackets in the title telling people how they should feel, clickbaiting a tragedy, I start to find a few issues with that. Fan saving Hurricane Harvey victims. Incredible. Saving animals caught in the hurricane. Emotional. Well, I'm glad that I know how to feel, Jake. I appreciate that. Normally, when I see animals close to death, I look at them kind of indifferent, not really too bothered. But thanks to you, I can now watch this video and cry about it. But it's not the first time Jake has used a tragedy or something awful to make himself look good. In fact, he made an entire song about all the great things he's done in his life whilst he was doing a little jog around a Walmart aisle. Now, you might remember this because he did write a line about him helping a cancer patient being their Make-A-Wish, and he made a video on that too. And you may be thinking, oh no, someone with cancer? I don't know how to feel about this. But thanks to Jake, he told you how to feel. Oh yes. The brackets made a return. I was her Make-A-Wish. Emotional. So currently I now know if somebody's got cancer, that's emotional. And um, if animals are dying, that's pretty sad too. It also really didn't help that he publicly announced his effort and where he was going to help this event, setting up basically fan meetups during a hurricane. He's getting people to go to an area that is basically putting people in danger who are already there. Now, it'd be fine if they were adults he was calling, but are Jake Paul's audience above the age of 10? No. If you look at the videos, it's just him surrounded by kids actually doing less helpful things than they were meant to be doing in the first place. What they're doing is they're just blocking areas and basically swarming a bloke. So you're thinking, oh, well, I mean, he tried his best to help them, obviously. He's tried his best to not cause any more issues. He's trying to fix the issue in Texas. Yeah, that was great until he ran his fans over. Yeah. He drove over them with his car. Now, admittedly, I don't blame him for this at all. Because a similar thing happened to Justin Bieber. Trying to get out of his bloody driveway and people were swarming his car. So he just drove through them. If you jump in front of a car you're most likely going to get hit. But when you advertise to a bunch of kids where you're going to be, they're probably going to swarm you when you try and get in your car. And they're probably going to jump on it too. So currently, weighing up what he's done so far, he's actually making it worse. 
And even in his comments at this point, people are just constantly pointing out the fact that he's most likely just doing this for views and attention, hence why he's documenting it every single day. You can't really criticise somebody for helping charities. You could guess his motives. Let's face it, it's not the first time he's used charity to make himself look better. But, and there is a but here, because I know that some people may be angry with what I'm about to say, especially due to the title of this video. But I don't think it's really that big of an issue. All right, he's a bit of a mug, you know, he's ran somebody over, he's, he's caused meetups here, but he is technically helping people, no matter what personal gain he's getting back from it. A few more issues I do have though, is that the videos are monetized, and if he'd have just donated the tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands these videos have made, because they're racking up 5 million views apiece, and have saved his career, may I add. He could have donated that money, and actually probably helped more people than he currently has, because currently what he's done is deliver them water. I mean, in case he hasn't noticed, the whole place is underwater, so I don't know what that achieves. Obviously, that's a joke, but you understand what I mean. He's making more money than he is putting in here, and he's reaping rewards, but he is doing something, and I can't really knock that. I could knock the way he's doing it, you know? I do believe it's very self-centered. I do believe it was a desperate attempt to save his career, and that's all I've got. My beliefs. I don't know the bloke from Adam. I just have looked at what he's done previously, the songs he's written about how great he is, and I've kind of made a deduction that he is a bit of a knobhead. All I'm saying is, I think the positives actually outweigh the negatives this time, even though I ran somebody over. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you knew. It'd be greatly appreciated. And I will see you with a new video tomorrow. Pretty much uploading daily at this point. So uh, keep a lookout. Subscribe if you knew. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, people. Don't run over your fans.